Hello, so it's your girl Z coming to you live and direct from my apartment in Michigan. It has been a while since I've shared something personal and just come on here and talked and said what's up. So here we are. Oh, actually, I'm trying to go to Detroit, so I'm uh, hey, what up, though? You know, you know, yeah, you know, I gotta give you a little bit of that. I'm I'm so excited about just where I am in life right now and the things that I feel like God is coming my way. It really has been a rocky last two years. And April 28th, I will be graduating with my master's in sports management from Eastern Michigan University. So yes, your girl, Master Z. That's right, I said it, Master Z. People with a PhD or EED can call themselves doctors. I've got a master, so Master Z it is. Um... On some real stuff, though, God is good. He's amazing, and I'm so excited because he's truly seen me through. I've had a lot of grace, favor um, through this year, which has been a lot of ups and downs, but I'm still here, I'm still standing, I'm still smiling, and a lot of people wouldn't have even really known it. Um, and I just have to thank him. But the real reason why I'm on today is because I wanted to share a poem with you all. And this is called God's Masterpieces by Your Girl Z. He told me I was special, but in reality I was a sale. He bought me on a discount because I didn't value myself. Only thing on my menu was a sign that said dirt cheap. He got what he paid for, but then he tossed me to the streets. This man's waste became another man's gain, far from a masterpiece, but simply a dirty dream come true. Rescued from the dumpster, smell, taint, and strife, he cleaned me up real good, and then he made me his wife. I'm not tripping. His love is real, but this hole in my heart is steel. Hard, torn, I go with the flow because anything's better than that hellhole. He said I loved you, but I believed him too. But deep in my heart, I needed to love me too. I can't just live while wanting to die because a life not lived is suicide while alive. This fairy tale hasn't ended. This is just the beginning. My life with you is nothing but winning. My sins have purpose, but his plans have grace. All this is beyond me because we are God's masterpiece. So there you have it. That's God's masterpiece. I wrote that a couple weeks ago, and it's been on my heart to share it, so there you go. Let me know what you think, but taking a step back, I really just want to tell you that you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're amazing, whoever is watching this right now. I know that things happen in life, and self-doubt has a way of creeping in for people, but we've got to look past it, we've got to fight through it, we've got to keep moving in faith, because... Through the storm, there's always a rainbow. At the end of the dark, there's always some light. So, trust me. If he saw me through some of the things that I've gone through, and some of the mishaps and crazy things that have taken place this year, heart, my heart and prayers definitely go out to individuals that were hurt in the Boston Marathon, Sandy Hook, Sandy, all the different things that have taken place within the last year. It's crazy. There's a lot of crazy things going on. There's a lot of people doing just things that don't make sense. But we have to still try to focus on the love and push the love and, and motivate one another and empower one another and make people feel like they're loved because all of this acts of hate literally spurs from somewhere. And oftentimes I wonder if it if it made a difference, that person that I just flashed a smile to, just walking, who's a stranger in the streets? Or does it make a difference if I just offer somebody a hug for no reason? Or does it make a difference to say hello? Hello to somebody that you don't know, that somebody that you don't even necessarily like. Because you know what? You might save a life. You might cause them from pulling that trigger. You might cause them from making the biggest mistake of their life. You never know. And that's one of the things that I really just wanted to share is that we are beautiful, people are handsome, young men, women, no matter the age, race, gender, we're all one and we really need to continue to try to unite and try to make this world the, the great place that, that it can be. Like, you know, it's not all this war and crime and violence is crazy. It's crazy. People need to do something about it. Um, 
but I'm not going to prolong this, this vlog today as I rant, but know that I'm going to do a better job of posting and reposting because there's a lot of great things going on. Moving in Faith is moving. We've got signed artists. Jeremy Shepard, you got to check him out. His stage name is Anonymous with HardcoreRecords.com. And, you know, we have two runners that are, are going to be wearing some uh, Moving in Faith uniforms. You'll, the, that, that'll come out soon enough. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. And I'm just so excited that I'm the vessel that he's used to really push this movement. Um, because it's, it's on my heart. I live it. I breathe it. And I want you to know that I mean it when I say that I'm here for you. And I want to encourage and empower you all to keep moving in faith. Because dreams are meant to be achieved. Goals are meant to be completed. And God's vision is meant to come to pass. He doesn't do anything small. He does everything big. So it's just a matter of time. So have patience in the process for longevity in the game. Love you all. Check out the new website, www.zmotivation.org. And below, you'll be able to find all the information, so I won't ramble on. Love you all, and have a great week. Until next time, keep moving in faith. Mwah.